first video. That video has now got over 40 some thousand hits and that was the very first. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fabulous today. We got another super cold day. We even got snow in the barn. It's so cold now. Really, we just got, <laughs> we got leaks in our ceiling from uh, some of the steel and whatnot not lining up around those sunlights or whatever you want to call those things. But uh, what we are going to do today, I got a little treat for you guys. It might have some of you guys kind of on the edge of your seat and it's going to have me on the edge of mine as well, especially when I'm sitting in the passenger seat. Probably guessed it by the thumbnail and the title. I'm going to have my brother attempt to drive my truck. Now this is not going to be illegal driving on roadways and stuff like that. This is going to be on a driveway. We have a longer driveway at our other property and so we're going to do it over there. Longer, more straight driveway so that he can uh, attempt to shift through a couple gears. We're not going to do anything crazy but I am going to see if he can drive my truck. Might be a little bit tough but we're going to try to get the seat and steering wheel lined up. I'll kind of go through and kind of show him how to do it, what to do, what not to do, stuff like that. Real quick look at the first gen here. Some people requested that I do a cold start on this truck. Hasn't been plugged in, of course. This truck only runs on one battery. But this truck and my truck, I just plugged it into the block heater 10 minutes ago. I had the batteries on trickle charge last night because they were dead and then I just plugged in the block heater to try to maybe get, I don't know, at least 20 minutes, 25 minutes of block heater and see if that helps at all when starting it up. This truck, however, we've never had an issue with it starting, even cold. This truck has sat, I think, not quite, but almost two weeks. And last time I cold started, it just it started up awesome. And guys said that they wanted to see this thing start up again. So I might pop open the garage here so that we don't smoke ourselves out and start the truck. Let it run for, I don't know, two, three minutes and then shut it off. Well, just turned off the first gen. Now I'm gonna attempt to start my truck. Completely dead again. Okay, so I guess my only option right now is to attempt starting that truck with the first gen, since I know the first gen will start. Getting really frustrated and ticked about these batteries, and I really would rather not spend $650 on batteries when I'm trying to spend that money on actual you know, build parts. Because when it was warm out, the batteries worked fine. Never had an issue with batteries. Trick always start off at the touch of the key, and as soon as it started to get really cold, doesn't ever want to start. And that thing was plugged in all night on the battery charger and on trickle charge, and it didn't, still didn't have any juice to start up at all. I just got the jump starter all plugged in here because uh, it was dead and that was my fault. I never charged it since I used it just yesterday actually to jump start my truck. Hopefully, I don't know what the whole battery issue is. I don't know if the battery's really shot or if, since they were drained initially by leaving my lights on and stuff and it being in the well in the negatives over a week ago, they're still dead from that initial incident and I never really ran the truck since then other than like I started up once yesterday. But while you're driving, I plug it in so it charges and I'm not driving, just I'll plug it and drop it. That's a good rule of thumb. So we're gonna get my brother to do a little bit of driving with the dually manual. Let's see how that goes. Is it like far? Cause I can only push uh, Yeah, you need to push it all the way down. Make sure you get that seat close enough so that you can get full pushing power. And that steering wheel adjusts too if you need to. I don't know if you need to or not. This is nerve wracking. Where is it adjust? To be honest, I'm freaking that terrified. Has no! I think we did. I don't. Do Where's the gas? <laughs> There's no gas. He keeps saying hit the gas. Bro, it's the, let's hit the diesel. That doesn't sound right. Hit the throttle. Dude, this feels the, weird. The accelerator. This is awkward. This is awkward? Okay. Does this go down? Yeah, do you want it to go down? Yeah, I do. Dude, you didn't say anything. Okay, there's a little switch right there. Well, now, now pull it down. Okay. Is that good? Dude, I could honestly see you driving this thing. I could too, you know. Dude, you could be mobbing 
this. Okay. It'd be straight up mob. Is it in so. neutral? It is in neutral right now. This, when oh, it's yeah. like this, it's neutral. So that means when That's I the only gear you're allowed to go in. I'm just kidding. Okay, and rule number one. I got eaten up about this, um, tore up when guys were talking about me touching the clutch when I'm not ready to shift. We're actually in the process of shifting. So if you're not, if you're not shifting, as soon as you're off the clutch, don't mess with it anymore. Why? Because they will rave on you in the comments and it's really not healthy for it to do that. It's not healthy on your clutch. So no, but not all comments aside, it's really, it's really not good for your clutch out here. So um, you don't touch that until you're ready either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready. Okay, you good? Yeah, okay, now now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your clutch in, and you, okay, now you know how to use this. Before you do that, you know how to use this. It's an H. All the way over and up is first, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your clutch in. Now I'll, I'll coach you through it as you go, okay? So, put your clutch in, down to the ground as far as you can go. Good? Yep. Now take it over and push up into the first. Is that in? Mm -hmm. Now what you're gonna do is, let go of that. You always want to take your hand off that once you're in. You let go of that and you're going to let off of that clutch slowly and then slowly give it a little bit of diesel. Not a lot. Not, not a lot of diesel. A little, little bit. You're giving, it a little bit too, you're giving it too much. You're giving it too much. You're giving it too much. Okay. Okay, you're in first. Now it's not going to stall out while you're just driving in first. Now I did the mistake of giving it a little bit too much fuel when I was shifting it first and really you're just, you're just going to burn more fuel when you're just giving it too much and you can probably hurt other things. Oh, I really drifted. Yeah, the snow is actually not cleared out in the driveway. Actually, you know what, you can't even get into third because you gotta be accelerating enough. I could do it, but, you know. You get like a freaking off-roading video out of this, dude. It's so deep snow. Dude, this is some deep snow. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Whenever you're done shifting, of course, obviously, you don't drive a manual daily and I barely drive them daily, but, when you were done shifting, you immediately stopped touching that clutch. Every single time. That's a mistake I made when I first drove it for the first day, and until I posted the first video and everybody corrected me. I always had my foot either, you know, real close to the clutch or, you know, just basically almost touching the thing. So, um, yeah, just use it as little as possible. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up in here. So, you're gonna get to learn how to use reverse. Put it in the first. So you're gonna put your clutch in, over, straight up and then let off that when you're done. And then you're gonna slowly let off the clutch and then once it's mostly let out, slowly give it a little bit of diesel. You're gonna turn in and pull it towards the bar. Just start turning your wheel this way a little bit. Okay, now put your clutch in and stop. Put your clutch in, pop it in neutral. How do I know where the driveway is? You can't see it in your mirrors. I just see a bunch of white. Here, I'll just help you out. I'll just look at the back, tap cap. I'm um, gonna slowly let out and give it just a little bit of diesel, not that much. Slowly let out. Okay, just, no, you gotta let out, you gotta let out. Okay, now get your foot off the clutch. Now just go straight back, now start to turn your wheel. That way, yep, real slow. Now start to turn it more. Take it way too much time. Turn it more, turn it more, turn it more. Now try to, once you get it out and you start to move, Try to get up to 2,000 and then shift down into seconds. Don't break anything. It's a little bit hard to shift and teach somebody in the snow. What are you doing with the fuel? The snow is actually not the challenge stuff. Okay, just leave it in neutral. Just leave it in neutral. Now you almost sold it out. You went, you skipped third and went straight to the fifth. I'm not used to it. I know, dude. I wasn't used to it either. I, I just. Oh, we're rolling. Yeah, use your brake. That's what brakes are for. to go across this creek right here but uh right down in that creek are you trying to get out of the video camera shy 
Did you uh, uh, drive the truck down the driveway? Is that it? I don't see any reason why there would be any difficulties whatsoever. We got four wheel drive high end. I'm gonna switch seats with him once we get back across the creek over here and let him drive it through this field. Just back up the driveway and stuff and see if we can actually get him into third gear without him stalling it. So let's go. Let's go across this creek. Come on. How would we get stuck? This dude has no faith, I tell you. How are we gonna get stuck in four-wheel drive in the freaking pap cap? Because of the pap cap. Because of the pap cap. Four high, first gear, just crawling. We got this, fam. We got this. Crunch was the ice. Dude, this creek used to be super, super bad until we put a bunch of stone in the bottom. It used to be like legit quicksand. It was, it was awful. I'm probably gonna take my truck back across and then I'm gonna switch seats with my brother again and let him drive a little bit in the field. Kind of see if he can get the thing into third gear somehow, whatever. But you know, he is 14 years old. He's never driven a manual before. He, he understands the concept 100%. Just hasn't actually gotten to drive it, you know, so. Whatever, it's one of those things you gotta learn, you know. Isn't that right, guys? Just say yes. No. Okay, well then, you just said that you have no idea how to drive a manual. Yeah. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe he does not have any idea what the concept is. This truck, not in four-wheel drive off-road, sucks if there's any snow. Okay, where are we driving? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna drive back up to the barn. But what I want you to do is get into third gear in this field. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem, just don't grind any freaking gears. Is it in neutral? What you wanna do, and people will rave on you if you look at the speedometer, the tachometer, whatever you want to call it, um, tachometer. But for starting out, if you don't know where to shift, shift right right before it gets to two on the thing. So that's 2,000 RPM. But you gotta make your shifts not fast, but you gotta make them in a timely manner so that you don't lose all of your momentum and all of your speed, and then you're rolling at zero miles per hour again, and then you shift it, and then you basically are just, you're gonna bog it down, you know what I mean? Put it in first. Sometime today, Nancy. I'm gonna slowly let off when it's mostly out, start to give it a little bit of diesel. Okay. So, I'm gonna get up to about 2,000. Pop it in, drop it in a second. Okay, well, that was a little bit janky, but you got it, you get the idea. You know, when you get it to 2000 ish again, and be careful, I go towards my other tracks, not over on this side so much. Okay, you already hit it. Oh, wow, you got it into the third, actually, pretty slick there. Now slow down, because I did not want to go into the phone. Now put it down into the second. Now, driving second. Okay, yeah, you let out that clutch way too fast right there, but you know, whatever. Good thing you're not driving it for more than five minutes. Little brother, drive my truck. Pop in your new, yeah, pop in a neutral and use your brake. Since I don't really want you to downshift, okay? You really slant on that brake. One thing you never want to do rule number one never ever power brake a heavy trunk like this. He's using the brakes like mom. <laughs> Don't ever power break. She can get away with it in the Impala. You can't do that in you can't do that in a one ton pickup. Will you, will you buy a manual? No. <laughs> I think it would grow on you though if you got used to it. I prefer the drive. <laughs> get out of the truck so we can go get the quick pay real quick. No. Yeah, do, do, do the dab, do the dab, yes, yes, do it. Oh, that's awesome, that's priceless. Okay. okay, we're done. Well, everybody, that is probably going to wrap up this video because it is getting late in the day. Been a little slow, but we do have some big things coming up for the trucks. And I know I keep saying this and I keep restating it. And you guys are probably like, oh, well, you keep saying this, but it's not happened yet. Guys, 
Trust me, I'm placing an order in like a day or two. I'm seriously about to order about 90% of the parts that I need to get this truck pushing 600 plus horsepower. So if you guys wanna see that, definitely drop a fat like on this video. It's gonna happen. It's very, very expensive, but thankfully, and I'm fortunate enough to have the continuous support from you guys watching the videos coming back day after day. And that is how I'm able to do a lot of the things that I'm doing right now. So thank you guys so, so stinking much for that. Really, really appreciate every single one of you guys. Thinking about doing some giveaways here. I think I'm actually about doing it a couple of giveaways here in the next couple of days maybe do one or two uh, like if I do a giveaway this time it's not gonna be like I'm gonna order something and then basically that's the only item you get basically what I'm gonna do is basically give you guys like a dollar range and be like okay so for this giveaway you guys let's say you guys basically have $50 worth of allowance on me and you will whoever wins I'll contact you or you contact me and then get a hold of me and then I'll say okay so for you know just as an example 50 bucks what kind of lighting accessories do you want for 50 bucks or do you want LED bulbs and a light bar and a harness or do you want you know one light bar and a harness do you want two small seven and a half inch light bars do you want like I don't know like you know what I mean so there's all the different stuff whatever you want and a certain price range I'll come up with that later on but uh, basically on me get you guys some stuff here and there and uh, just can try to continuously give back as much as I can because you guys have done so much for me coming back day after day and I want to return the favor to as many people as I can and I want to try to give back as much as possible and just wanted to kind of update you that I am about to order a bunch of stuff for the truck I'm gonna do some giveaway stuff here so if you guys want to enter those giveaways all you have to do to be entered is basically you have to subscribe to the channel you have to follow me on Instagram and then basically you just have to just stay active in the comment sections because one day I might just you know pick random comments and be like okay that person contact them you get some free stuff so that's how it's gonna work but uh, anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video leave a fat thumbs up on it definitely leave some good comments down below and guys like always think about what you could say do be or act upon today to make the world a better place for you and people around you tomorrow so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day. But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate because one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight and go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live all right. Live a normal life, doing nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.